Palpation of the back seeks to determine any areas of tenderness, warmth, or deformity. To start, have the patient in standing or in prone on the examination bed if possible. Firstly, bony landmarks must be assessed, including superiorly the occiput and the spinous processes of the cervical vertebrae, with C7 being the most prominent at the base of the neck. Continue palpating the spinous processes down the thoracic and lumbar spine, feeling for any step deformities and continuing to receive feedback from the patient about tenderness until the sacrum is reached. From there, palpate laterally over each sacroiliac joint, followed by the posterior superior iliac spine and the iliac crest. Next, moving back up the spine, palpate 2.5 centimeters lateral to the midline to examine the paraspinal muscles and facet joints of the spine, as well as the costal vertebral joints in the thoracic spine. Next, gently percuss with a fist paraspinally down the spine to screen for vertebral fractures. Lastly, check the distance between the inferior costal margin and iliac crest, which is normally the width of four fingers. With palpation complete, we can next move on to range of motion.